Better be the big gap rusher there. New group up. Or you, you're the receiver now. I want the break, yeah. That's right. You know that. Yes, yeah, so I look. All right. Up, huh? That's right. Thank you. Oh. Who? How many people are rushing in this deal? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay. Who's going to take care of this big lane? We're bringing a blitz from here. Where's the quarterback going to go? And where, where are you at in, in, in position wise? Right here. Like on their back, like this. Right. What do you, what do you, what is he right, teaching right. you right now? Yeah, right, right there. there. Right there. Because that's one he's going to he's going to catch it right there. But that's, yeah. this hand ain't going to hold the ball. This is the hand that's going to hold the ball. Opening your hip. Hey, you're fine. When you got ready to break. Step in the bucket. To drive off your right foot. Defense! All I want done is you do your job the way it's supposed to be done 100%. That's all I'm asking you to do. We're not asking anybody to do anything they can't do. They got no timeout. They got to have a touchdown. They got 33 seconds. Tackling, tackling, tackling. Get him down. Right there, good. Hey, Cal fans. This is senior defensive end Kyle Cragen. I'm here with uh, defensive coordinator Art Kaufman. Going to ask him a few questions. So, Coach, how do you think spring's been going so far? You know, I'm really, uh, really pleased with it. One thing we've got back, we've got a lot of guys that have played snaps and played at the positions that we're going to ask them to play this year. And uh, I thought the big thing was, was our learning curve was a lot faster than it's been, uh, you know, from a year ago. What techniques and training do you stress on a daily basis? You know, one of the things we talk about is, is that at each position, their position must be at a defensive lineman, D tackle, D in, linebacker. And the big thing that we talk about is pad level, you know, blow delivery, how to keep your face out of it, keep your head up, and then just how to play with fundamental football at your position for uh, the techniques that, we, that we're using. And I think that's the biggest thing this spring is everybody pretty much knew what to do and they could spend more of their focus time on how to do those things. What did you see the defense improve most upon this spring? I would say probably mental bust, uh, eliminating the mental bust and, and really cutting down on that. We, we had some by some of the younger guys, but to me, all of our older players came back and picked up where they had left off at the end of the season, and that way they were able to, to know what they were doing and spend their time just with fundamentals. Come game time, what, what kind of mindset do you want a defensive player to have? You know, I think the big thing is, is they've got to be confident in what they're doing and be, be aggressive with it and, and make sure that, that as they execute it, it's a full speed, physical, violent uh, uh, collision that, that they have with the players or coverage or whatever it is. It's got to be full speed with, uh, with a mass intensity. What do you look for in a good defensive recruit? You know, and probably the biggest thing is, can they run for their size and then do they chase the ball and play hard, and are they physical at the point of contact? Kyle, it's time to flip the script, and I'm going to put a few questions uh, at you and see how you handle that. What's most exciting about this upcoming senior season for you? Uh, I would probably say just trying to get to a bowl game and, and have a, a winning season. I've been here two years now, and, and both of we haven't reached reached the bowl game, and I really think the whole team kind of has a has a feeling, has a goal of, of trying to reach this bowl game and do everything we can to to have a, a nice winning year. Kyle, what are some of the things that you stress to our, to our younger players? Is, you know, is there just getting here and not understanding everything? I would say the one thing that I try to stress is how important it is to, to be in the right place at the right time and that it doesn't matter necessarily if you're the biggest, the strongest, the most physical. If you're not in the right place at the right time, the coach can't trust you and probably won't play you. You know, there's a lot to that, Kyle, and I think that's an important point that, you know, when you come in humble and hungry and just try to do it the way it's supposed to be done, that's all we're looking for, and, and uh, I think that's a big thing, Cal fans. If you could have seen every day of work that, that we, this young man had out there, he's, he is by far the most improved or most impressive MVP in our spring, spring practice this year. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate you joining me, and Cal fans, stay tuned for the next one-on-one. -on -one.